what 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 classes is your church a part of? Church is part of Classes Zealand. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, how 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 has your experience in Classes been? Uh, classes Zealand is, I think, uh, Lo Lloyd uh, maybe is uh, raising the uh, mm -hmm. visibility of Classes Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> as as the I mean, uh, Minn Kota sort of arranged itself as an affinity classes in the denomination, and maybe Classes Zealand is gonna is gonna rival them. I don't know, but uh, how how is your how has your experience been in in classes? Um, when I first came here, um, it was a very divided classes. Really? Yeah, it was about half were complementarian, and about the other half were were um egalitarian women in okay. office and uh and there were there were there were definite party lines and really? um i i would i would kind of float between both of them um but not many people would and so i was on a classes renewal committee and one thing that we decided to do is we decided to divide to have the classes be you know, be organized with different committees. We made one committee that was just responsible. We called it Classes Koinonia, so Classes Fellowship. And um, and so we started doing retreats together. Um, we started um, having pastors and spouses outings, and um, we started um, having coffee together every week. And it's a whole different classes now. Wow. We um, we we are friends with each other. We don't always see eye to eye and everything, but but uh, we pray for each other. We encourage each other. We we have classes coffee every every Wednesday morning, and uh, not everybody comes, but but uh, most people come with with some some frequency, and we just have excellent camaraderie now that's it's a wonderful great classes. that is yeah. great to hear yes you know because if i ask a minister about classes i sort of brace myself because you know there's a joke among crc ministers that you know i work in my local church for free i get paid twice a year to go to <laughs> classes um but uh so does your see this is this is super helpful because Part of what happens, especially on the fringe of the CRC, is that you see these names on overtures, and so you get sort of stereotypes. And of course, that has happened to Classes Grand Rapids East in many ways. And many of my friends in Classes Grand Rapids East will say, you know, we're, we're, we're not exactly how we look from you know, through, through certain lenses in the denomination. And, and so I, I tend to get that impression now talking to you about Classes Zealand as well. Yeah, it... Uh... Um, it's a, it's a great class to be a part of. I, I've really appreciated and in, enjoyed the fellowship that we have. Um, and, uh, and again, it doesn't mean that we agree on everything and we have some, some different styles of ministry and we yep. have some different ideas about some things, but, yep. but classes meetings go so much better when, you know each other's struggles and you've prayed for one another when you've encouraged one another you've seen each other's ups and downs in ministry and yeah. um and so even if somebody comes off comes off a little strong on a classes floor you know the person behind it yeah and yeah. and so you're not threatened by it yeah. by somebody coming off a little strong you know that they're passionate about this and so yeah. you can work with that which is exactly the reason why I do these longer bios with these conversations, because someone might say, oh, Paul is talking to someone from Abide, or Paul is talking <laughs> to Clay Libel. And then people are, you know, then they have this, this straw man picture of different people. And in almost every single case, when you begin to wade into a person's life and their story, you realize, oh, there's a whole person in there. What do you know? And, yep. and so, and that, that, and what you say is, is exactly right with respect to ministry. Part of the difference in West Michigan is that classes geographically 
are compressed as compared to, let's say, a place like Northern California. Currently, we used to have a church in Wairika, which was four hours north of me, and we have churches four hours south of me. In other words, it would require eight hours to drive from one end of classes to another, and that's not unusual in classes out in the western part of the United States, which really makes classes a very different thing than classes can be in a place like Western Michigan, where you can you can meet every week because geographically, you know, I would imagine you know, in Zealand, I would imagine isn't a small class. It's because you do have some real estate there, but it's not it's not like Northern California. So no, we're we're a long narrow strip. Um, if you know Western Michigan, we go from Coopersville to Allendale. The we're the only Hudsonville one there, but then Zealand and then down to to Oakland over Risel and down to Allegan. Okay. So we're kind of a long, narrow strip, but we, we kind of Zealand's in the middle. We kind of meet in the middle for a lot of things. So okay. yeah. Yeah. But it's a no, good classes. That's interesting. Cause there's, there's another issue with classes and the Christian from church is that they're historical. And so I grew up in New Jersey where we had classes Hackensack and classes Hudson. Yeah. And of course, classes Hackensack was sort of a weird classes because it kind of came over as such in the early days that added some churches and then classes Hudson. And of course you've got RCA churches around. And I mean, every, every place is different. So, but that's, that's, I'm, I'm super glad to hear that story about classes Zealand. Cause that's, that's really helpful for me to, to get a much more accurate picture of, um, of what's there. And that again, in terms of the current conflict in the Christian Reformed church, one of the things I really do want to do is, as much as possible, let's humanize each other and understand that while, you know, we may be fairly far apart on specific issues, let's say in the church, we, we've we got probably a whole lot more in common um, than we do that. Well, it's, it's, see, you, you can't measure these things like you can sort of measure with a yardstick or, you know, measure with a, um, you know, some uh, a measuring cup. So, 